Of course, this is all pie in the sky, abject nonsense. None of this is going to be achievable, and we're wasting billions trying to do it. Well, joining me right now to discuss this is founder of Ecotricity and a Labour Party donor, uh, Dale Vince. A good afternoon to you, Dale. Good yeah, afternoon, Julia. Thanks good for joining us. Um, uh, now, yeah. I mean, uh, there's no point. If you've got a target, which I think, frankly, is a ridiculous target, but a target that's unachievable, that you are not going to be able to achieve, you may as well ditch it, won't you? shouldn't you? I don't think so, actually. I think it's better to have a target and strive to hit that target. If you do away with the target, then you lose the uh, the impetus, don't you, to uh, well, to do something and to do better. Clearly, Scotland needs to do better. Taking away the target is not the answer. Doing more is the answer. Well, you say doing more, but, I mean, uh, how were they hoping to reach the target? I mean, we've got very similar targets across the rest of the UK. How is that going to be achieved? Because we've got lots of measures we were told were going to make a difference in terms of, you know, converting I mean, boilers to, uh, you know, different kinds of, you know, heat pumps, um, people not being able to buy, uh, uh, you know, uh, anything but a, a, an electric vehicle. And, and all these different measures, they're gradually being dropped or pushed back as we get close to when these are supposed to be brought in, because they're unworkable and unachievable. And, hey, the voters don't like them. Well, I, I don't think that's um, completely accurate. Uh, I think in, in terms of Which electric bit? cars, that's pushed back by, well, this one. The, in terms of electric cars, that part was pushed back by Rishi Sunak uh, for political reasons. It, it hmm. didn't make any economic uh, sense. Uh, well, the man, the manufacturers like, but... said they can't sell the cars. No one wants to buy them. No, the manufacturers said that by 2030, the cost of an electric car will be the same as the cost of a petrol or diesel car. But no so one there's wants no to point them. in pushing back the ban on the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by five years because there won't be a price difference. That's what the manufacturers said. Uh, but the, uh, the other thing you said is about heat pumps. And, and actually, you know, I, I, I don't stand on the side of heat pumps. There was proposed to be a, a boiler ban, a new boiler ban, so that when your boiler breaks, you have to buy a heat pump or you can't buy a boiler anyway, at least. Uh, I don't agree with that. I've campaigned against that. I think we have better answers. And so I just don't think what you said was completely true, uh, that these things are being um, unpicked because they're unworkable. The electric car change was not about being unworkable. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Manufacturers, and, and boiler, were going, the, manufacturers were going to be yeah. fined for each... Every year, the percentage of the cars they, had, they sold that had to be electric vehicles was going to go up, and they were going to be fined if they didn't reach that target. And they said, we can't sell the electric vehicles. People don't want to buy them. I don't think that's true. And this no, is not what you Rishi can say Sunak you don't think it's true. It's not. It's no, it manufacturers literally crisis, said this in public. And the figures for the Dale, Dale, figure, can, the, fig, the actual figures on the number of sales shows that's if true. We let each other talk, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I would, you said, I, you said, I don't think that's true. I was. You can, you can, I mean, you can, you can say, I, I don't think the sky is blue, but it, you have to actually have some facts to back it up. It, Julia. You don't let me speak. I was trying to tell you why I don't think that's true. Go on, then. Again, because when Rishi Sunak unveiled the pushing back of the target to the end, to end the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by five years, he did not say it's because manufacturers cannot sell them. No, he didn't say it. The manufacturers said, we can't sell EV cars. People don't want to buy them. But that's not true, is it? Okay, the manufacturers just... said that by 2030, the price differential would be the same. They said that that's pushing not, back this not, target now, breaking point. a government target now, they said, will undermine confidence in the industry. They said they'd spent hundreds of billions to deliver electric cars for this target date. And the, 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 the manufacturers, even, even the motoring... Uh, associations, the AA and the RAC, were disappointed by the change because it was it was undermining confidence in government policy. There was no economic reason <laughs> to make that change, none. You're quite wrong. Manufa car ma major car manufacturers were lobbying the government, saying, you're going to have to push this back because we can't sell them. By the way, by the yeah. way, we wouldn't actually have the electricity grid uh, up to scratch enough. We're going to be losing some of our electricity uh, production to actually run all these cars. Let's, let's, let's talk, though, That's about... Uh, I, I disagree. I disagree. Disagree because on what? most electric cars, uh, that we lose electricity production because of electric We're closing, cars. Our nuclear power said. stations are closing down. We, haven't, we need reliable electricity production, which we don't get from renewables. That's why you have to have gas-fired you know, gas power stations and nuclear power stations. And we ain't building any of those. So we're going to have an increased need for electricity to run our cars in a few years' time, if we have that policy. 
but we're not going to have any increase in electricity. In fact, we're going to have a decrease in our ability to produce electricity. Well, that's not true, is it? We're having a massive increase in our ability to produce electricity, and it's happening through renewable energy. That's <laughs> not reliable oh, way, electricity. Have you, have you, sorry, have you, have you missed the point that, that Hinkley is being built, that nuclear power station over when? on the West Coast? When? A good question. Exactly. That, that makes a very good point. Other, Can we other rely nuclear on power nuclear stations are going out be of built commission. On time or on budget, nuclear power, we can't rely on it. We can't rely on it. No, no, we have to rely on nuclear power because we can't rely on wind turbines <laughs> and solar panels. And when, I, and when I tell you it's being built, you say, but when? And that's the question about nuclear. But when's it going to happen? Because it's always decades late. It's always like, yes, we're terrible at building anything in this country, apparently, apart from sodding wind turbines ruining the nation. But the point is, wind. I know you love your renewable energy, and it's wonderful if we could do everything with renewable energy, that'd be fantastic. However, sometimes, remarkably often, the wind doesn't blow, and an awful lot of the time, the sun doesn't shine. So we don't have reliable uh, energy from uh, the, the wind uh, and the sun. That's why we need to have backup energy. And unfortunately, that backup energy is becoming... You know, it's going to be less of it rather than more of it in the coming years because we've not been building those power plants. No, no, but you, you, I don't think you really understand they're how the facts. grid works, how the energy mix works. These don't are not I? facts. These are, these are opinions. These are opinions. They're not facts. I've got, you're using, and, I have you know, an we, opinion on whether or not we're building more nuclear power plants that's not based on actual facts. No, no. No, what you said was that, uh, that we, we, we need reliable sources of energy that we don't have and, and we are not building because we're building more renewable energy. I'm saying that's not a fact. I didn't we don't say that was because I didn't, I didn't say, I literally, I've got Claire Pistol, I, back, I didn't say that. I, we, can, we can build as many wind so turbines we... as we want, but they're not going to be able to provide electricity all the time, which is why we need backup, but we haven't got that backup. We are going to have a reduced ability. We do have ability. the backup, it's not true to say that. Oh, God. We have the backup now, we don't need Do we? What's backup. the backup now? Nuclear, nuclear cannot be turned on quickly like gas can. It is not backup, it's base load. We, you don't understand what you're talking we about. Are, we are decommissioning gas power stations, decommissioning nuclear power stations. Yes, we're building, supposedly, no, one. No, no, no. The, no, no. The government are talking about building new gas they power stations. They are talking about, about it. About a month ago. We, we don't are have talking to about it. Well, you think they're going to be in place stations? by 2030? I mean, God bless your optimism. Uh, you, honestly, honestly, you, you don't understand what you're talking about. I'm just we stupid. Are nearly it's 50 all, I'm just stupid. I know nothing. I know oh, no, nothing you, no, about you this. Have a, you have a particular stance that you wish to take that, that appeals based to your fact. audience. And, and, and it's not based on fact. That was my next point. It's not based on fact. I, 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 again, I, are, we, are we in that sort of, are we in that post-truth age where we just choose our own facts about what our energy production capability is in I the I think we live years? in different worlds. I think we well, live I mean, in different I don't worlds. know. I, I, I base mine on, I base mine on the energy industries. Own, a, own forecast. I live and work in the world of energy. Yeah, you, live and work you make in the a world lot of, of money radio. from green energy. The world of radio, populist radio, I would say. Oh, oh, oh I'm so insulted, oh, not Dale. Not popular, not popular, populist. <laughs> I'm, again, so insulted. How terrible. Oh, um, yeah, no, again, I'm just saying, that's where you live. That's why we have different that's where I live. I was also I'm political editor of a national I newspaper. I also, of radio. I, also, I also spend my time actually researching to actually know what I'm talking about. So I don't just say what I think that's about good. the nuclear energy uh, policy or, or the or energy mix. You're offering opinions. No, you it's are. not an opinion when you're talking about the forecasts from the actual energy industry bodies. Which ones? Oh, God. No, but it doesn't matter because okay. it's an opinion, right? Oh. Anyway, Dale, look, look where time is running out, right. I want to ask you also... What about the national grid? What about the national grid? I mean, they Na say... National grid are pretty darn clear. They're predicting blackouts, energy. for God's sake. Then, Why no, would we have blackouts no. if we've got reliable energy? They're not predicting blackouts. Yeah, yes, they anyway, are. Why don't, why don't we move on to your second topic? Because I'm sure it's going to be You more just fun. said they're not. I mean, sorry. Can someone they're just not. can they're someone not. just fact check this? Hey, BBC, verify. Genuinely, you, you. I mean, I swear. If I said up, oh, this is up and this is down, you'd go. That's your opinion. No, right. Really. Dale. Right, let's also good. ask I'll about... I disagree with you about that as well, Julia. I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't. Well, it's, it's populist opinion. I'm just a radio shock jock, of course. Um, let's talk about Dubai. I know you, you happened to tweet me the other day um, about the horrific rainfall. One year's rain, one and a half year's rain, I think, in a day uh, in Dubai. Yeah. It's led to mass flooding, loads of holiday makers having to leave because uh, the whole place is underwater. Um, apparently, this is down to climate change, and people like me just aren't taking it seriously enough. I think that's fair. Do you? What, on what evidence? On what evidence? Blimey, the, the evidence of 
climate change is overwhelming by now, surely. surely. No, what evidence that this rainfall is caused by climate change? Because every time there's a well, disaster just... of some sort, you always say, look, this is climate change, no. even if it's something that's been no, happening no. for hundreds of years. But this hasn't been happening for hundreds of years. Yes, yes but, but even if... In the cases of other floods that we see, or other rainfalls, any storm, no, any drought, no. any storm, anything that happens, you always tweet, look, Julia, this is evidence of climate change. Even though the IPC no. reports, PCC reports, point That's out there's true. no evidence to date that there's been an increase in, in storms or anything like that. I think we can see the pattern of weather, and we are having extreme weather. Weather-related insurance claims in our country, Julia, last year uh, reached over half a trillion pounds and and that's up 36 percent yeah. on the year before it's a record level of insurance claims due to weather damage that weather mm -hmm. is caused by climate change i mean no, the, the no they, that's not a statement that you can back up with any scientific document clear. but it is it is no, it's so it's so no, clear the flooding so clear. is largely United caused Nations, by the, the failure to dredge rivers and building on floodplains <laughs> If you build, Dubai, if you build right? thousands of houses that, on floodplains they might get oh. flooded this is silly. This is silly. You, you, the, the scientific consensus is so oh, clear. The consensus. Climate change is man-made. It is man-made. And that's extreme not even weather the, events that's not have even the scientific consensus. for decades as the outcome that's of the That's not what the scientific crisis. consensus is, that some part is, of it is man-made. No, it's oh, not. That's the, that's right, I guess it's just my opinion. You, you I, look, I'm just on the radio. You shouldn't be denying these things. Denying. You? Oh, well, that would be as bad as denying the Holocaust, wouldn't it? You've written that before. I think it's uh, it's akin because this, there's a coming Holocaust that's going to be far worse in terms of loss of human life. And when you that's deny weird. it, you obscure, the, loss of human you obscure life? the facts. You you dilute you dilute the uh, the, the impact and what the, loss the of need human to life? Sort of pull together. What loss of Sorry. human life, Dale? Ninety nine percent fall in the number of people dying as a result of climate related and weather related disasters in the last one hundred years. Why do you think people are going to die? The United Nations says that three million people have been killed already by the climate crisis and <laughs> tens of millions made homeless. The United Nations says that, Julia. That's why I say it. Yeah, OK. Dale, we'll have to leave it there. They're shouting in my ear. We have to end. It's been a pleasure. Always is. Thank you for joining us. Keep right. tweeting me. It keeps me, it keeps me on my feet. Claire Pearce, quick word from you. <laughs> um, what can you say? What can you add to that? I think it's... <laughs> No, but no, in speechless. my opinion, no, I'm not very often speechless. But you, you, in genuinely. my opinion, we'll I back. think that we don't have the capacity in this country to produce enough electricity. You cannot rely on renewables.